Rob here from Uno Media, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the video element in Elementor. So stay tuned. At Uno Media, we help companies to grow and thrive using the latest tools, tricks, and marketing techniques. From websites to online marketing, automated sales funnels, social media, and much more. We're always releasing new content on our YouTube channel, so make sure you click the like, subscribe, and notification button to make sure that you don't miss out. Just before we get going, I want to tell you about an exclusive offer we have on at the moment. We're giving away free access to our paid Hub Uno platform to the first 50 people that click the link in the description. We're going to be putting this link in the description of all of our videos, so make sure that you get in there as quick as you can. Within Hub Uno, we have created over 100 training videos in 13 courses, including a course on how to build a website using Elementor. You'll also find recorded webinars and a host of other free content, so remember to click the link in the description. Let's get on with the video. Hello, in this video we are going to be talking about the video element of Elementor. Before we begin then, I've got a page layout of Elementor full width. I've got one section here with one column in and I've changed the background color of the section to blue. To get back to our elements then, we just need to click the grid here. Let's go ahead and drag in our video element into our column. Here we go, this is the default elemental video that they use. So in this video, we are gonna go through content and style, advanced, you've got your margin and padding options, uh, but for all of these extra options, we have separate videos, so go and check those out if you want to use them. Let's go back over to our content tab. So the first thing we need to do is select our source. So we've got YouTube, Vimeo, Dailymotion and self-hosted. I'm only going to go through YouTube because that's sort of the most commonly used one and Vimeo is of course as well. Uh, when it comes to self-hosted, please make sure your videos are on a separate server to your website because you're going to increase the um, loading speed of your pages and your website in general if you're hosting your videos on your server. I really would recommend though using platforms such as YouTube or Vimeo um, to host your videos. So let's go through YouTube then. All you have to do is paste your link in here. I'm gonna leave it as Elementals default. We can select a start time and an end time. So this video is about 15 seconds long. So if I wanted to, I could make it start at five seconds and end at 10 seconds. Let's just quickly have a look at that. There you go, you can see it starts at five and ends on 10. Let's just remove those then for now, because most of the time you'll probably want to show your whole video. So down here in the video options, we've got autoplay. So this means that when videos land on your page, the video is gonna autoplay. Bear in mind though, some browsers do block this from happening. Um, and generally, a lot of people might get annoyed if a video starts playing and audio starts blurting out as well. So I really would recommend just keeping it off. If people want to watch, they will. Mute, so that will mute the audio. We've also got loop. If you click loop, that will remove the start and end options, uh, but this will mean that the video just keeps going over and over. Player controls. So if I play the video, you can see that the player controls down here at the bottom are on at the moment. If I pause the video and hide them, play the video again, they have gone. Let's pause the video and turn this back on. We've also got modest branding. Uh, this only appears when you've got player controls on and this essentially removes the YouTube logo down in the bottom right, which is normally here. Privacy mode then. I'll just read you the little paragraph here that Elementor have put in. When you turn on privacy mode, YouTube won't store information about visitors on your website unless they play the video. So it's up to you whether you want to uh, do this or not, but just toggle it on and off. The last option then in the video options is current video channel uh, for suggested videos and any video for suggested videos. If you use current video channel, as you can see at the end of this Elemental one, it suggests other Elemental videos. That's because that's those are other videos that are on their channel. Um, if you click any video, then this will relate to the videos that they watch on YouTube in their own time. But it makes sense that you have it on current video channel if you're playing lots of videos for your business. So we can also add an image overlay then. So rather than having this sort of default uh, 
shot from the, uh, from the video, we can add our own overlay. If we click show, there we go. So let's choose an image. I'm just going to click this one of Dan and I, insert the media. There we go, we've got our overlay. So we've got, we can toggle lazy load on. Lazy load means that the, the video itself won't physically be loaded until they interact or ask for it to be loaded. This can increase page speed sometimes. Um, so I'm just going to keep it on for now. We've also got image size. So let me show you how this works. This isn't going to work like the image one where we select thumbnail and it makes a small thumbnail. It basically wants to show the image at thumbnail size, but it's covering the entire overlay. So it's going to blur it. I would keep this on full really. We've also got the play icon. We can turn on and off. I would suggest having it on because then people know it's a video and they know to click on it. And we've also got a light box option. So when they do click to play, it pops up in a light box. I'm going to close that and I go back to edit and I'm going to turn that off. So I'm just going to stop there for you to pause the video and add your own video and play around with those settings. And in a moment, we're going to go through the style options of the video element. So let's go up to style then. There's only a few options here really. Uh, we've got aspect ratio. This is best to be kept at the aspect ratio of the video. Um, so in this case, it's 16 by nine. But for example, if I click one by one, it will want to show it in a square. However, if you click play, it'll just try and uh, squish it in anyway. Uh, just stick to 16 by nine or whatever your video has been um, uh, created in. We've got CSS filters here, which we can play around with blur, brightness, saturation. Um, let's just replay that video quickly and hue. And of course, if we don't like this, we can just go back to default. So we can also uh, style the play icon. I'm just going to go back to content here just to bring the icon back up. Um, where are we? There we go. Play icon, style, and okay, here we go. So we wanted to pick the color. Um, I'm just going to go with this green for now. Obviously, see, we've got videos on the color picker tool. Uh, go and check those out if you want to learn how to use that properly. We've also got the size. Let's make it quite big. There we go. We can also add a shadow then to the play icon. If we want to, we can change the color of that shadow if we want. It's entirely up to you what you want to do with that. Uh, but I'm just going to go back to default and leave it. So that's the styling options for the video element. Of course, click the green update button when you're finished and we will see you in the next video.